G'day, it's Jay, and welcome back to Dairy Air Farms. Today we're continuing our coverage of the Platinum DLC, Silver Run Forest, by taking a look at uh, what Giants is teasing as part of the equipment that will come with the DLC. And stay tuned towards the end of the video because there are some improvements to the way logs are handled which I think will so definitely can, make it easier for the average player, like me or you, who has a hard time with logging, to actually get a good use out of it. Those of you um, who uh, looked at the live stream also saw the new truck, um, Volvo is a new licensing partner, they've got a lot of cool new and also So this is the Volvo truck that's being introduced with the game, apparently this is an older model, um, but specifically they're showing off how the loader can handle logs now. Um, uh, for instance, um, the uh, light and so on. Okay, back to the L200H. Um, let's just unload this truck. We open the gripper and Now, in the little video at the left, I'm not sure what type of controller he's using. It almost looks like he's using a laptop with a mouse, uh, which will be fantastic if that's as simple as it is, because up till now, most of logging is required pretty much either a gamepad and or a joystick or even the Logitech heavy equipment bundle. You do know um, the freight train from other maps, um, but this one is a bit It's new, still not um, perfect, but you will um, see in a second um, what happens sometimes. But right now, if this had been the old logging physics, those logs would have flown um, all over the place the when he tried time. to take that corner. That looks good. And you can just actually sell um, the logs outside the map or can also take I really do like the model, the Sono, L200H um, by Volvo. That looks um, like it's, it's a really nice model and I can't wait to get my hands on it. The, logs the train is new, um, as he mentioned just now. Front, it will transport uh, either logs, pallets, Cars are for pallets, um, you can load um, the timber um, or finish the timber at the front. Sell them or just actually, uh, and the actual locomotive at the head of the train map. is prototypical for <coughs> North America. It's a small switching unit there which would probably work around the logging areas. The gripper, um, um, when, when you actually close the gripper, you've got two additional um, grabs, and if it's not um, completely filled, um, you've got the additional grabs um, or clamps. Um, there we go. That's what I said wait for. Uh, you can see there's one log still trying to escape. Um, which didn't happen anyway. with the previous load. But again, if this had been the current physics that were in the game, all the logs would be trying to escape and some of them would have definitely succeeded. So the fact that he's managed to get them all into the train is a pretty good show. I'm sure they appeared a little bit embarrassed by this. Uh, um, okay. I know you can't hear the commentator because I'm talking, um, but I'm sure they're going to be working to fix sound, that so that accidents the like that errant uh, log do not happen again. Cool. You can't hear it. All right, here so we have the John Deere the 843L. Also showed you on the live stream, uh, two John it's Deere a fella buncher, which this means it cuts um, down a couple a, of trees. Uh, it's a bit different from the harvesters, um, which can just actually 
um, take a full tree. Uh, this one is a bit different. It's mainly used in the US. It's a fella bunch. Uh, and they can actually take more than one. Um, and you can put them wherever you need them. So as he points out, uh, uh, this piece of equipment is used more for uh, cutting down a couple of trees, transporting them to where they need to go, and then dropping them. It doesn't actually strip and cut the trees to length like the existing equipment does in the game. The saw will actually cut off the uh, trunk, and then you've got a um, uh, smaller grab gripper um, at the top and this enables you to uh, take two trees at a time if the trees aren't too big but this is not for a hilly terrain so we set this two trees at a time with this uh, this piece of equipment but even surface he doesn't mention whether it will handle trees that are too big for the other logging equipment to handle uh, hopefully it does. Hopefully it'll take some of the, the larger trees. We'll just have to wait and see what comes out in the future. Now you can just actually put them down by pressing a button and uh, the trees will just fall to the ground. Now I'll show you how to actually drag them from uh, the uh, forest. Some similar components. And this is a skitter by John Deere. It's usually used to drag um, long trunks uh, from So the, the John Deere 848 skitter. Um, well, let's see how it works. This is not necessarily new. A skitter is not new to the game. It has been in previous versions, but again, with logging physics, they never really worked that well as they would drag a tree halfway to where you wanted to drag them to, and the tree would just kind of. Mm, it would escape, basically. So you'd have to back up, grab the tree again, and keep going. It looks again like they've got the physics better improved. The trees aren't trying to escape. So we'll just um, put them here. This was the second machine. I'd be curious to know how and, many uh, um, trees it can handle at one time. Display in the stream. Obviously, the gator um, is not a preview of what's coming. And let's just take this chainsaw to have Okay, there's a preview of something new. A bit cooler. So we've got a, a steep slope here. And it would be very hard to drive up here um, with a half. So as a lot of the comments in the commentary uh, said, people were excited that um, there will be equipment to keep chainsaws relevant. It won't just be based around heavy logging equipment. out of that slope. Now we've got some sound. So, well, we've got um, a little device. Uh, there we go. So, we can just without any hassle, to the rope. they managed to attach and the winch system to that tree so I can go and are able to hill, drag it all, all the way up the way. hill without, again, without the tree escaping. It's a bit like a little cable car. I've played with that, so I'm pretty fast. Let's uh, move it up a bit. Here's our harvester that is prepared. So we saw the tree uh, take the branches off and load it on the truck. The whole so in a few minutes, they'll show us how you set up the um, kind of like a the winch system. Cable but in the meantime, they're, they're going to show system. us how the regular Ponzi. It's used in Alpine region. 
logging uh, machine cuts up a tree. I think most of us already know that or have tried it. They are based in Austria, where it's often used, and it facilitates chopping down trees on steep slopes, where it's extremely difficult to use a harvester or forwarder. Uh, and the uh, chance to tip over is relatively large, and um, here this uh, cable system works quite well. We release the log, and we have it here. The skid or the sled upstairs um, can be moved by the player manually. We can uh, attach the tree in any position, or even uh, multiple trees. We can pull up the tree as we like. And then it's ready for us here. So as he said, the winch is, is pretty the much player Cobra. controlled. Um, it. it can go all the way up it's or all the way down, or as we just saw, partially up and partially down just to maybe move a tree if you felled it in the wrong place or you dropped it in the it's wrong used place. used to uh, chop down trees standing up. And um, there were many requests to pick up trees that are on the ground uh, that can be uh, cut into pieces and uh, debranched. And let's try to pick up the log. It's not so easy. It'll be automatically gripped. Moves the tree into so is the he saying, um, position where it was. You can now pick up cut. down trees and, uh, so that have already been chopped can be cut. with the Ponzi equipment Previously or various other forestry equipment. From one to and then meters were used cut it to length and, and shave it at the same time. By meter steps. We adjusted that. Because we uh, have no, somebody said that that's a feature that's already in the game. Uh, I haven't done any logging options. recently, so I'm not sure about that. We don't but they're claiming in the preview video uh, here that this linear, is a new in feature. In a linear way, we have 3, 5, 6, 8, 12, 15, 20 meters. Um, and they've actually now also the improved the pieces, but used as a whole cutting length that you can you uh, cut trees to you can either um, go in increments of uh, 0.5 or you can go in Let's meter try. increments theoretically we can load it directly on the trailer or we can also stack them and then pick them up by a truck <laughs> as you like yeah, so um, basically there's just confirmation that in the position. you can use uh, the, can pick up the next log or remove uh, the implement backwards. Sorry, I'm just listening. Um, so you, yeah, you can either use the logger to cutting length, create stacks like we do in the game right now, load trailers. That's not particularly a new feature. Camp. We don't need the DLC for it, actually. Yeah, as you just confirmed that you don't need the DLC for that feature, but uh, especially, but um, that would work. I can show you how you um, erect the cable system. This is in the park position. The cables are all wand. I can erect the tree and. We're trying to find the. So that looks pretty, pretty easy to set up. They're trying to find a tree that's strong enough to actually so hold. There aren't any collisions in between. Um, and um, the winch system. The cable system is uh, tensioning the cable towards it. Uh, a belt what the length of it is, they don't say, but we'll find out when that comes out. In order to fix it. We have support elements that... Um, and as they point out, the key support elements on the, the reverse side can either be put in the ground tip over. In or reality, attached to trees. Attached to other trees or stumps. 
trunks. Which is the way um, it's done in the real world. There's no tree adjacent. So, uh, because obviously if you screw it into a tree or a tree stump, seal hooks. it's going to be a lot more solid because if the tree's got trees, its roots it than just to attach basically putting the pegs in the ground. It's way accordingly. Here you can see how the cables are wound and uh, depending on you move it, on how you move it. So the coil is um, moving and uh, winds the uh, cable and then it can be operated. Let's go to the next and All right. last vehicle. This is the really interesting part of the video. The impacts uh, comes into play. Here we have chosen the biggest model. This used to be an excavator. It has been remodeled to a harvester, not a little one, as is 50 tons. So 50 tons, and that's pretty impressive. To um, remove trees standing up, that are standing up, the upper arm. So just like the Ponzi harvester, this has, this is basically a, a and hold a tree converted model and it doesn't collapse that will grab trees and allow you to cut them down, the delimb them and cut them to length. Uh, beneficial if you have smaller trees nearby and you can't approach them or you don't want to harm the soil you can go on a farm road or a forest road uh, go in into the trees and pull out the tree without having to move the vehicle into it so that's all new we haven't had it before uh, both clip are open the upper can be operated manually uh, usually automatically opens and closes. All right, when anybody else notice that ye little yellow circle? I don't know Pay close attention here. to that. It worked uh, amazingly well. It was only by the push of button and the excavator moved automatically towards the tree. Let me show it again. So they're going to show that again. Hopefully, I think this time they open the menu. The tree. And it looks for the tree that is in best position. And it tries to automatically align the machinery. And as soon as it's green, it's in, a, uh, in an area where he can chop down the tree and it can saw it. Then the upper gripper. Uh, attaches the tree <laughs> and we lift the tree standing up and there they and go we can decide where we wanted to have the tree the upper gripper can be controlled individually let's say we place the tree here push the button so like I said um, it's, it pretty much works ejected. the same way as the and other logging equipment except can, uh, it's got a, an it upper length, arm like a, with a normal harvester the cutting lengths that are new six meter trees we're talking about and here you can see how it works so it cuts exactly the same way as existing pieces of equipment. And it automatically moves back. The head can be rotated. The trees can be picked up again and uh, dusted off. Then we so, move it up yeah, again. I'm looking at the uh, control or panel or uh, controls, and he's definitely using a mouse and keyboard. Um, we see the marker. And there the we go. Marking. I'm going to pause that for, well, actually, I'm not going to pause it. I'm just going to keep talking. The O button, align harvester to target tree. Hopefully, this is a feature that's carried over to all the, of the logging equipment. DXs. So that you can automatically the align to the tree. If you wanted to have that, uh, I hate, help. with the current setup, Let's trying to get my and equipment moved want. in the right direction, trying to turn the vehicle and then line up with the tree. 
So the ability to be able to press the O key and have it automatically line up to the tree is going to make a huge difference for me. It'll be completely clean. That's a very long tree. And there we go. They just cut the whole tree instead of cutting it to length. We didn't never saw it, but um, whatever we want to do with it, I sell it whole, for example. A novelty I wanted to show you. Uh, you can see the uh, great sound. We have an extra sound for the chains. Okay, he keeps calling it chains. Sounds very uh, realistic. The tracks chains. You hear a little squeak of the chains. But I guess that's lost in translation. I'm a big fan of the sound effects. You just show, here they just showing how a track vehicle can turn basically on a dime, a zero turn, turn around, as up. most track vehicles uh, should be able do to do. The same thing. <laughs> And we saw that it was just having a turning capacity. So they finally seem to have got that feature working properly in the game. The buttons to steer it, I know one that the tractors is like the John Deere 8RT, forward, the, other one is uh, the Challenger, and, then it turns on, and on the axis. Fent that are all single track vehicles That's pretty much do it. turn on a dime as it exists right That's now. The last machine I wanted to show you. Uh, there are a couple more. And so DLC they say it's a new feature, and, uh, but realistically, I, you know, it's something that's existed in the cool game, stuff. and Thank I you. think it's just something they have pr are proud of that they have got perfected. Anyway, so that's a look at the new logging equipment that's coming with the Platinum DLC. I love that feature, the ability to align to tree and then have the harvester move, grab the tree, and then you can cut it like you normally do all in one go by pressing one button. I think that's going to be amazing. Like I said, I have currently, I have a hard time. I revert to a chainsaw because using some of the loggers that they have in the game right now, moving the cab, moving the control arm, and then trying to align with the tree is just a little bit difficult with a mouse and keyboard. So let me know whether, well, whether you're an experienced logger or are going to be new to logging with this DLC, whether those are some features that you think are actually improved and are going to help the game. Sound off and leave me a comment. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We have more coverage coming up. And I do regular how-to videos on a regular basis. So make sure your notification bell is turned on for that. Thank you for watching. Jay.